Hello everyone, my name is Yuki. I'm a technical marketing engineer at Anthropology, and I'm gonna go over some of the keyboard shortcuts that are very useful to know when you're using Anthropology. So in today's Anthop Live, I'm gonna go over the keyboard shortcuts that you can use when you're working with Anthop files, manipulating views in Anthropology, and when you're working with blocks. Let's start with the keyboard shortcuts you can use when you're manipulating your views in Anthropology. Before we start, I want to credit Lano Kuyama for this awesome car suspension design I downloaded from GrabCAD to use in today's NTOP Live. To begin, you can find all your viewing tools at the top left under View and your keyboard shortcuts associated with them. Let's start with the zoom to selected. So while working with your model, there might be times where you lose sight of your part or while working zoomed in too far in. And you can reset that view by pressing Z on the keyboard to bring your part back into view at a reasonable distance. Make sure the block's visibility is toggled on when using the zoom to select it. And you can toggle the visibility on and off by pressing V on the keyboard while the block is selected. Um, we have a couple of tools you can enable when working with Anthropology. You can turn on our display grid by pressing Alt-G on the keyboard together, and it'll bring up a grid you can use to measure and get an idea of how big or small certain features are. If you want to measure something, you can use our ruler at the bottom and toggle that on and off by pressing Alt-R together on the keyboard. You may come across a time where you want to section cut a part. And by selecting the part you want to cut, you can press X on the keyboard to section cut the part and determine your location and orient the plane. If you want to take a look at the field of an implicit body or a scalar field, select the block again and press F on the keyboard to open up the field viewer. And you can toggle off the visibility of your block and you'll be able to see the field, in this case, our implicit body. There might be times when you're working with lattices an entire view isn't rendering properly because you may have your resolution set low. You can enable the precise render by pressing Control H to precisely render your part and maybe send that rendered part to a colleague and to show what changes, what lattices you have created inside of your part. In this case, some TPMS is in our box. Next, we'll talk about the shortcuts you can use while working with blocks. Um, while working with Endopology, you'll often search for a block over here, but rather than clicking on the search area, you can press Control L on the keyboard and quickly search for that block. Um, one of the blocks that you will often use is probably this import part block. And we created a keyboard shortcut, which you can press Control I, which, you, which opens up a file for you and you can easily import a part just like that. I'm gonna take a look at our notebook over here and you'll notice you'll notice that our visibility for a couple of blocks is turned on. Um, if you want to isolate a block, maybe in this case, I want to just work on this tire, select the block that you want to isolate and press I on the keyboard. If you want to select multiple blocks, you can do that by holding control and left clicking each of the blocks that you want to use. So in this case, I want to turn back these visibilities just like that. So I highlighted all of them and press V on the keyboard. So if any of the blocks have your um, visibility toggled on, you can press Control A on the keyboard and it will select all those blocks. If you wanna collapse or open any blocks, you can press the space bar on the keyboard and you can easily collapse or open any of the selected blocks. Um, when you're creating your workflow, you'll come across a time where you'll probably use one block as an input for multiple blocks. So in order to do that, you can create a variable by right-clicking and selecting make a variable, or while the block is selected, you can press Control M on the keyboard. And then now you can easily drag these and use them as inputs for your other blocks without changing the original block. Lastly, we'll talk about the shortcuts you can use while working with your NTOP file. Find all your file tools under the file dropdown located at the top left of Anthropology. 
and you'll also find your keyboard shortcuts associated by their name. When working with Anthropology, don't forget to save your file by pressing Control S on the keyboard. You can also enable our autosave feature by going under File, Settings, File Backup, and you can check Autosave. And change your save time intervals and select your folder for your autosaves. If you want to create a new NTOP file, press Control N on the keyboard and it'll give you a whole brand new notebook. If you want to open up an existing NTOP file, press Control O on the keyboard and select the file you would like to open. If you want to change the name of a file or make a duplicate, press Control Shift S together to save as a file. And lastly, once you're done using Anthropology, press Control Q to quit. I hope these keyboard shortcuts you learned today will help you as you work with Anthropology. If you're curious about anything at Anthropology, set up a few minutes with us and a demo to get your questions answered. Go to anthropology.com, click on Get a Demo, and simply fill out the form to speak with an NTOP expert. If you're an existing user and want to dig deeper, feel free to check out support.anthropology.com to access our help center.